guys it's she i'm back today with another video so in today's video we're going to talk about how i upgraded my home for about 150 dollars so if you've been watching my channel for a while you know that i'm all about an affordable makeover so today's video i'm going to show you the small upgrades that i've done to my house i'm in the process right now of looking for a new home i am tired of living here it's been five years my daughter is 10 years old now and the one bathroom woo, the, the one bathroom is just not cutting it anymore okay so our house is 1,030 square feet I bought it with the intention that one day it will become a great rental property two bedrooms one bath the bathrooms the bedrooms are on the opposite ends of the house so I was like you know what perfect rental property the mortgage is low enough at 775 okay you see why you need to buy a house that I could definitely rent it out for about 1200 and then make that um make the difference in profit every month I believe it's about 400 or so dollars excuse my math anyway guys today I'm going to show you all the updates that I did for my in my home but before we get into all of that let me do a few shameless plugs Number one, I have a Poshmark account where I sell all of my beautiful, gently used clothing. So the link will be down in the description box. So anything that I mentioned that is from Amazon in any of my videos, I always put them linked on my Amazon affiliate shop where you can go and shop all of those wonderful things and get them for yourself. And I receive a tiny, tiny, tiny commission. <laughs> Including the camera I'm using, which is a Canon uh, EOS M50. That is linked there as well. Anyway guys, let's get into the video. First update that I did to my home guys was I bought this paint. And this paint, forgive me, I do not remember the color, but we will go inside and find out what the color is because I'm pretty sure that you guys are gonna wanna know what it is. But it's this beautiful teal color. I've been here five years and I just felt like it was time for a door color upgrade, so. I bought these little uh, plant thingies from Roses. The rug is from Hobby Lobby. This actually came from Ace Hardware. I thought it was so cute and pineapple-y and summery. And then the wreath was like a DIY that I did myself with items from the Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby and all that good stuff. So basically just reuse the wreath. Ooh, these flip flops. We probably need to put some glue on them. But anyway guys, forgive me, I don't remember the color, but I will find out for you guys. The paint was, I believe I paid like $14 for this quart of paint. So for $14, I was able to give my door a completely new look. Before it was like this ugly brown color, it was dented, scratched. It had to get painted, okay? And it was fairly, fairly easy. It didn't take, maybe it only took maybe two hours. You know the waiting for the paints to dry two coats I think it looks great okay. the paint I use is the Valspar season flex and the color is blue midnight so yeah this can of paint is about 14 bucks at Lowe's <laughs> so guys since are very 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 important to me and one thing I had definitely got away from was utilizing candles in my home so i started i went to i was watching shira 71 i don't know if you guys follow her over on youtube but she's like my favorite woman to get feminine dating advice from so i was watching her channel and she talked about candles so she said that she went and bought all of these like candles with these beautiful scents and so i picked up a couple from burlington they were all 7.99 each um this one is smoked sandalwood and mirror Talk about a sophisticated, beautiful scent. And then plus the candle is like a dark, nice color. I wish you guys could smell it. It really smells like a scented oil with like a woodsy kind of scent. It's just like something you don't smell every day. So I really like to burn these candles throughout my home. Especially when I know someone's coming over or even at nighttime. When Kenzie and I are relaxing, I like to light those candles and just... Look, I have candles lit right now for you guys. I knew that you guys were coming over, so I went ahead and lit my candles. So anyway, guys, next I got these bar stools, and I picked them up for $40 from Facebook Marketplace. Oreo wants to come out and say hello right now. 
But anyway, I got these bar stools from Facebook Marketplace for $40. I thought they were amazing. I initially bought them to resale. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy them for $40 and throw them back online for $175. But they actually match the blue theme that, I was going, that I'm trying to do right now. And they actually are the perfect height. That's one thing I struggle with over the last five years is finding bar stools at the perfect height. But these are amazing. Love them. I've never had bar stools here in the last five years. So it's just nice. Me and Mackenzie can sit here while I'm cooking. She's able to eat her food. If I have someone over, they're able to sit here and chat with me. I love that they're swivel and they are adjustable. Then guys, over here, what I did was I reused these gray curtains from the first time I ever redid my house. I don't know if you guys remember that video. And I'm so sorry for the lighting. I normally try to wait till about 3 o'clock to record, but today I had to go ahead and just get it done. Um, or otherwise it would have never happened. So guys, this is where I was able to save the most money in my home. I reused a lot of things so over here on the couch these pillows are actually from my bedroom if you watch any of my previous videos then you guys know those pillows were straight up stolen from my bed and from the little couch that's in my room so these pillows um the large blue ones are from tj maxx they are downfield i believe i paid 24.99 for them but for the purposes of this video they were free because i stole them from my bedroom this little pillow came from, I forget guys, please go check out my bedroom makeover video and you'll learn exactly where all the pillows came from. This one is a pillowcase cover and I chose to go with this one because you know the silvers and golds that I have in my living room. And then again that pillow was sold from my room and these were already on the couch. Um, these pictures were actually above the couch in my bedroom. I love them because they remind me of like the ocean. They have that deep, rich indigo blue that everyone's doing in their homes right now. Like all of my clients are asking for this color. So I was like, you know what? I need to go ahead and do this in my own house. And then these lampshades are from Lowe's. They're in that deep indigo blue. I got them for $19.98 each. So $40 for new lampshades, $40, no $35 for candles, $40 for bar stools, and then where are we at? $15 for paint, $14, $15 for paint so far. So yeah guys, it's just like, it's really starting to feel homey. I'm not actually done in here yet. Um, I also stole this picture from my bedroom and this is going to be going over top of the dining room table But I have to find a home for all of these decor items that we have here and then this dresser has to go to storage So the last thing I want to show you guys is my bathroom You guys are really in for a treat with this bathroom because with the bathroom I actually got this shower curtain set from Walmart. So, there's a few little random items in here at the moment. So, I just move them out of the way. Like you guys, like you guys do every time you take a picture on Instagram. I always tell people that when they say, oh my God, your home is so neat. I'm like, girl, for the video. <laughs> and I know that I'm not the only one, so I don't feel bad, okay? So anyway guys, let me show you the bathroom. So this bathroom set was about $20 or something like that. Got it from Walmart. I was shopping for a client and I knew we were working on like, like I said, everyone's home has the blue in their home right now. So I was like, what do you think about this? And she wasn't like a super fan of it, which is fine. So I decided to use it for my house. It was $20 for the shower curtain. It came with different hooks and it also came with the bath mat. Um, so that was $19.96 or something. And then these towels, which are freaking fabulous. And I thought they were a nice way to kind of tie in the colors from the rug and kind of blend with the curtain. These were about $10, I think. Maybe $10 or $12 for the two of them. But Walmart has some amazing towels that you guys definitely have to go check out. The only thing I would like to do in here is change the artwork eventually. But it doesn't, it doesn't suck. Like, it's pretty. 
it kind of works so I just kind of left it um but yeah this is my Walmart shower curtain set guys I think it's fabulous So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you truly enjoyed it. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys like a little, the little bit of updates I've been doing with my home. I really, really, really want to redecorate everything, but it doesn't make sense when I'm looking at purchasing a new home and renting out this one. So I wanted to just give my space like a fresh new look on a budget. So anyway, hope that you guys love this video. Check out the description box for lots and lots of goodies. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.